Thank you for selecting Zscaler, the world's largest security cloud. In our upcoming May release, the Dashboard, Analyze, and Reporting tabs, as well as any reporting-related functionality in the Zscaler Administration Portal, will no longer be available. Zscaler Analytics, which we launched earlier this year, will be your reporting and analysis tool. Note, however, that the Secure, Manage, Comply, and Administration tabs will remain within this portal for your configuration needs. There will be no impact to your traffic flow or data. However, if you have any scheduled reports, they will not work after the upgrade. The purpose of this video is to help you transition to Zscaler Analytics. But before we begin, I'd like to take a moment to thank you for your continued support. Your feedback has played a key role in influencing many of the enhancements that I'm about to share with you. After the upgrade, when you browse to your standard Zscale administration URL, you will be presented with a login page for Zscale Analytics. Simply enter your existing credentials and sign in. Once you're authenticated, you'll be presented with your Dashboard Analytics tab where you may perform your reporting tests. Alternately, you can click on the Policy and Admin link which will seamlessly redirect you to your administration portal for your configuration needs. Once you're in the administrative portal, you'll notice that the Dashboard, Analyze, and Reporting tabs have been removed. However, there is a new tab for Analytics. If you click on this, it'll take you back to the Zscale Analytics portal in a seamless manner as well. First, I'd like to highlight some of the enhanced dashboard capabilities in Zscale Analytics. In your current administration portal, you have a single dashboard that cannot be customized and you cannot drill down should you notice any anomalies. In Zscale Analytics, you have multiple dashboards depending on your subscription. Each of these are based on various different use cases. Note that you also have the capability to edit any dashboard so that it's fully customized for your business's needs. In addition to that, you can also click on any chart and drill down. For example, if you notice that you have 11% streaming media within your organization and you want to find out more, simply click on that segment of the chart and click on Analyze Chart. This enables you to use our new Insights tool. When you click on the Streaming Media segment again, now you have a larger context menu. For example, you can find out who are your top users for streaming media. Turns out it's Christina the CIO. Next, you can find out what are the top hosts for streaming media that Christina has visited. Turns out it's iCloud. And finally, you can see Christina's transactions. Once you're done, simply click on the Back to Original button, which returns you to the dashboard. Alternately, you can also go straight to your transaction logs. For example, if you notice a spike in cross-site scripting, simply click on that line and click on View Transactions. Now you can see on Wednesday, April 10th at 1151, Sally from Finance went to this URL and she was blocked because the site was suspected to be vulnerable to cross-site scripting. Again, when you're done, simply click on Back to Original. Next, I'd like to highlight some of the reporting enhancements in Zscale Analytics. When you click on the Reporting tab in your current portal, you're presented with a list of predefined reports in the left pane. You can click on any of these reports, and this presents a quad chart format report. You have a number of filters on the top using which you can customize this data, and you can also select a time range. You have a set of six predefined time ranges today. In addition to that, you can also click a segment of the pie which will interactively change some of the data. If you wanted to get more information, you simply double click on the chart and this presents you with the associate transaction logs. Once you're done, you can click on close and go back. Moreover, you can save any report as a PDF or make it a favorite. You can also then schedule a favorite report. The interactive reports menu option in Zscaler Analytics is the equivalent of reporting tab in your current portal. There are two types of interactive reports, standard reports and custom reports. Standard reports are basically a set of predefined reports. There are reports by department, location, additional security reports, and even reports on productivity loss. You can also find your very popular user browsing history report here. For example, if you wanted to find out what Sally has been doing, you simply select Sally from a list of users. This provides a view into Sally's browsing profile for the previous month as well as the current month. Her top categories, her productivity loss profile, 
any liability issues, security incidents, and even applications. There is also a very popular web traffic overview report. You can select the time period by clicking on the drop down. These are your list of predefined time periods. You now also have the ability to select a custom time period. Once the report has loaded, you can select it, make it a favorite, you can print it, or you can schedule it for delivery. Additionally, you can also copy this report. When you click on copy, you're in edit mode and you can change the title of the report. You can delete existing widgets. You can modify existing widgets or you can add brand new widgets. Once you're done, simply click on save. This now presents this report in your custom reports folder. Another way you could have created a custom report is by clicking on the new report button. This actually provides you with a blank canvas using which you can build a report from scratch. A third way that you could also create custom reports by, is by using the import and export functionality. So if you have a report template that you really like, simply select that and click on export, which creates a JSON definition for that report. You can modify this definition and then re-import it back into your portal. Interactive reports actually goes beyond traditional reporting because you can drill down instantaneously from any chart in any report. For example, if you see a spike in web traffic, you can actually click on this trend line and the context menu appears using which you can actually see the transaction logs or analyze the chart further. Please note that we've completely decoupled favorite reports from schedule reports. You no longer have to make a report a favorite in order to be able to schedule it. You can pretty much schedule any report. Any reports that you do schedule will show up under the schedule reports tab and you can then click on them to make any modifications. You also now have the ability to be able to schedule quote unquote today and yesterday reports which you're not able to do in your current portal. Next, let's take a deeper look at the insights functionality. Depending on your subscriptions, you'll have access to either web, email, and or mobile insights. You can simply click on the chart and drill down as I showed you earlier, or you can also add filters on the left hand side. For example, you can select the user filter, perhaps for Christina, and you can find out what are the top hosts that Christina has visited. You can also look at this information in terms of time. There is a history bar at the bottom that is tracking the various steps of my investigation. So at any given point, I can actually go back and review the steps of my investigation. I can delete any charts that I don't wish to retain. And at the end, I can basically print the results of my analysis so that I can send it to the relevant stakeholders. You can now also customize your view based on your personal preferences. Click on the icon on the top right and simply select the columns that you want to view. For example, if you'd like to see the threat name, enable that column and it'll appear to the extreme right. You can also select columns and drag them so that they are rearranged in the order that you prefer and you can also resize columns. Note that for the URL column you also have the ability to click to copy. These preferences are per administrator and they will be retained when you log back into the UI the next time. One common query that you may wish to run is to search for a specific string within your transaction logs. For example, you might want to see all logs where users went to apple.com. In order to do this, go to your Insights tab and click on Transactions View because after all, you are looking for a string within your logs. Once you're in Transactions View, select URL Search from your list of filters. Then you can opt whether you're looking for the entire URL, a path, or a host. So let's look for apple.com. It's highly recommended that you do a search for a host and use a contains as your matching pattern. Once you're done, simply click on display results. And this now loads all transactions where the host was apple.com. This concludes the quick overview of Zscale Analytics. 
A quick summary of this tutorial is also available in the quick reference guide which you can find within your notification email. If you require additional information, you can actually click on the help menu within Zscale Analytics and click on Visit Help Center. Here you'll find a full set of documentation in addition to some additional short videos. You can also search for topics, for example, scheduled reports, and this will bring up a list of topics, and you can directly navigate to it. In addition, if you have further questions, please feel free to contact a sales or support representative. We hope that you've enjoyed this tutorial. We look forward to your feedback on Zscale Analytics.